ladies and gentlemen, our now. Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. Following the command, parade rest. The parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled marine while playing military marching music.
The Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Men who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the dedicated service to care and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel M. Matthew Phelps. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, distinguished guests. On behalf of the Commanding General of Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego in the Western Recruiting Region, Brigadier General James Ryans, and the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, Colonel Peter Rundler, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for Company I. It is also my distinct pleasure to welcome today's parade reviewing official, Captain Elizabeth M. Adriano. She is the Commander of Naval Medical Readiness and Training Command and the Director of Naval Medical Center San Diego. You'll hear her impressive biography shortly. Ma'am, we are honored to have you with us today. Now before I talk about the accomplishments of the incredible young people that you came to see graduate today, let me acknowledge a few groups of people who made their success possible. First, let me recognize those impressive Marines you see wearing the distinctive green campaign covers. They are, of course, the legendary Marine Corps drill instructors. Drill instructors are the critical element in the transformation of civilians into United States Marines. From the moment a recruit arrives here at the depot, a drill instructor is with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, everywhere that they go. It takes a special Marine to be a drill instructor, and these Marines are extraordinary. Their impact is permanent. Let's face it, of the thousands of people we meet in our lives, few will leave a lasting impression. But no Marine will ever forget the name, the face, or that gentle, loving voice of their drill instructor. Seated next to the reviewing stand is another special group of people. These are the families of the officers and drill instructors of Company I. These families know firsthand the time, dedication, and sacrifice that it takes to make a Marine. They assume additional responsibilities at home so that their Marines can be here, focused on the mission. We so appreciate their love and support. Ladies and gentlemen, please give me, join me in a round of applause for the families of India Company. Now, every Marine's journey begins with one of the hard-working Marine Corps recruiters who canvasses this nation on their mission to enlist the next generation of Marines. Today, Marine Corps Recruiting Command is represented by Staff Sergeant Otilio Martinez of Recruiting Substation Westminster, California. Staff Sergeant Martinez recruited our honor graduate, our company honor graduate, Lance Corporal Eliseo Da Silva. It was Staff Sergeant Martinez who first recognized Lance Corporal Da Silva's potential and offered him the opportunity to become a United States Marine. Outstanding job, Staff Sergeant. <laughs> and finally, while most of recruit training happens right here at the Recruit Depot, the recruits spend several weeks of the training cycle up north at Edson Range on Camp Pendleton. There they learn from the talented instructors at Weapons and Field Training Battalion, field and combat skills, that include basic marksmanship training, where they learn to engage targets with precision rifle fire at staggering distances, up to 500 yards out. Today, Weapons and Field Training Battalion is represented by Corporal Carson Geary, 
the primary marksmanship instructor for our platoon with the highest shooting average platoon 3210. Cole Bagheri, outstanding job. remarkable young people. They are truly some of the best this nation has to offer. When they arrived here, they were young and fit, 20 years old on average, and in better shape than most people their age. 98% of them are high school graduates, and seven have already earned college degrees. Beyond that, they demonstrated the courage and commitment that few of their peers could muster when they raised their right hand and swore a solemn oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. They come from every expanse of the globe, in this case four different countries, including Mexico, Colombia, Ukraine, and El Salvador. And some came from just across the street here in San Diego. But wherever they came from, it was a common goal that brought them together, the goal of becoming United States Marines. When they arrived here three months ago, they embarked on the world's most demanding entry-level training program, and they stepped off the buses and onto our historic yellow footprints. Since then, they've undoubtedly been tested. They've been trained and evaluated in the attributes that make Marines unique in the world. They've learned battlefield-tested warfighting skills so that when this nation calls, these Marines will be ready for the fight. We've hardened them by developing their physical and mental toughness so that they'll never quit or give up against any odds. We've indoctrinated them in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment so that they will be Marines of exemplary character in peace or at war. And we've instilled in them a bias for intelligent action so that as small unit leaders, they will be able to decide, act, and communicate in the future operating environment in any kind of place. Now I hope when you're reunited with your Marine, you notice a few changes. They should stand a little taller, look a little leaner, They'll look you in the eye, and they'll use strange phrases like, yes sir, yes ma'am. You won't have to tell them to clean up after themselves or finish a meal, and I promise you, they all know how to make their beds. But behind those things is what I'm most proud of. They fully embrace our core values as their own. Through their courage in coming here, through blood, sweat, and tears through physical, mental, emotional, and character transformation. They have fully committed themselves to serving our Corps, and I am honored to stand alongside them. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present to you today 210 young people who can now and forever claim the title United States Marine. while I address the company one last time. Good morning, Marines! on your well-deserved leave, people will be proud of you, because they should be. They'll look up to you. They'll be impressed and amazed at your transformation. Your friends will ask you how you did it. And when they ask you, I want you to take them for a walk, right on down to your recruiter's office. Because I promise you, your drill instructors would like to meet your friends. Remember that with your new title comes responsibility. The world is a dangerous and chaotic place, and that is why we have you. The strength of our core doesn't come from any weapon system or piece of equipment, but from the warfighting spirit of individual Marines working together as a team. At its essence, war is a violent conflict of wills, of spirits. And so it is your spirit, your character, that matters most in combat. Our core's legacy of being first to fight and never giving up now rests with you for safekeeping. 
The Eagle Globe and Anchor that we handed you as you finished that very wet crucible represents that legacy. And as long as you wear it, you represent the entire history of our Corps and every Marine who came before you. Be proud of what you've accomplished here. Be proud of what you now represent. As you go forward in your lives and your careers, be worthy of the title that you've earned. On behalf of the officers, drill instructors, and all the support personnel here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, let me be the first to wish you fair winds and following seas. Semper Fidelis Marines, and welcome to our Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Captain Elizabeth M. Adriano, Commander of Navy Medicine Readiness and Training Command, San Diego, and Director, Naval Medical Center, San Diego. She is accompanied by Colonel Peter M. Brumler, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego. Captain Adriano began her military career in the United States Air Force as a medical student at the Uniformed Services University of Health Sciences. Upon graduation from medical school in 1996, she transitioned to the United States Navy. She has served in a variety of challenging buildings in numerous commands to include General Medical Officer at Naval Hospital Great Lakes, Department Head at Naval Hospital Buford, Vice Chair of the Women's Health Department for Naval Medical Center Portsmouth, Director of Surgical Services at United States Naval Hospital, San Romeo, Italy. Commanding Officer of Navy Medicine Readiness and Training Command at Cherry Point, North Carolina. Captain Adriana currently serves as the Commander of Navy Medicine Readiness and Training Command, San Diego, and Director of Naval Medical Center, San Diego. Captain Adriana's personal awards include two Legion of Merits, four Meritorious Service Medals, and a Navy and Marine Corps Combination Medal. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Captain Elizabeth M. Adriano. and review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge.
events around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusa, Inchon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Quezon, Melanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Malaysia, Ramai, Marja, Sangue, and our most current operation worldwide. This parade is rich in history and tradition, and no marine train here never forgets its sights and sounds. Senior Thrill Instructor, Sarah Sergeant Gustavo A.P. 
Felix Gomez. Journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine 
1984. As the Burbank to build a way to mount four, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company I prepared for the final dismissal from boot camp, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intent and initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill a fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifle. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Thomas C. McCarthy. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Kelvin E. Carrington. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company I. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidelines. Turn to the drill instructors.
The undergraduates will now be presented a flag by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel M. Matthew Phelps, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Gerardo E. Trevino. Please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. Present harms. Order harms. The Army graduate for Platoon 3209 is Private First Class Brent Krumsik from South Tulsa, Oklahoma. The Army graduate for Platoon 3210 and the series Army graduate is Private First Class Tristan L. Clavel from Waterville, Kansas. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3211 is Private First Class Christopher C. Tomlin from Nashville, Texas. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3213 and the Company Honor Graduate is Lance Corporal Elisio W. Da Silva from Orange County, California. Lance Corporal Da Silva is also the recipient of the Jesse Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The Honor Graduate from Platoon 3214 is Private First Class Damian D. Gonzalez from Guadalupe, Arizona. And the honor graduate for Platoon 3215 is Private First Class Ryan A. Acilo from Phoenix, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company I. First, sir, reporting as ordered. Dismiss the company. Aye, aye, sir. The company first, sir, will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Senior drill instructors! Dismiss your platoon! Aye, 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 aye